Are you struggling to have a shower due to mobility issues and you find you need a handrail to help you? Then come along with me and I'll show you how to install it without damaging any crucial utilities that may be behind the wall. Let's go. Hey guys, Moosey here from Quantum Home Improvements and Solutions. Welcome back. And if this is your first time to our channel, it's great having you join us. And so today I'm with my friend Angela. Hi everyone. So Angela contacted me back only a few days ago uh, and she said uh, that she's got uh, a problem and I didn't know about it. Um, she actually had a fall and uh, she broke her ankle and had to have it operated on. Um, and so she's been showering in her uh, shower chair um, but she needs now to uh, be more mobile. So she's got a boot on and, um, and then we need to install a couple of these handrails. Um, so Angela, how do you feel now? A little bit of pain, but I'm okay. I'm getting around. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So now with these handrails, Angela, I've just, just got to advise you um, that when you put them in, there are a lot of utilities behind here. And uh, unfortunately, it's very easy to damage them. So I know for a fact that there's a water pipe just here. How do I know that? Because I renovated this bathroom back in uh, 2016, I believe. And so, and that was a huge job. I mean, and boy, did he do a good job. <laughs> Have a look at it. <laughs> Thanks, Angela. Um, th this was a real issue because this was a two way bathroom. There was a toilet here, yes. and all the utilities were on that side. So, um, yeah, it was a big job, actually. Uh, I took a lot of photos. I know exactly where all the studs are. <laughs> okay. So, we're going to have to find timbers. Now, the reason I'm saying that. Um, regardless of your size, I'm saying this very specifically, regardless of your size, I'm just over 80 kilos, which I think is about 180 pounds. Um, when you fall in a shower, and, and I have a spinal injury, and I have handrails in my showers, now when you fall in a shower from a distance, you have inertia. And so 80 kilo or just over, when you go grab a handrail and fall, the amount of pressure that's on that, when you grab it, it's gonna put a lot of pressure. So now, if you just use plugs in the wall, it will come out, I'm almost sure of it, okay? Now, uh, you don't wanna tempt that, you wanna put these handrails in timber. So Angela, you ready? Let's go. Okay, so it was a bit tedious, so I've taken all the measurements uh, on the other side of this wall and found where the studs are. So there is actually a noggin just running up to here. There's a stud running all the way up there. Uh, and then there's a piece, uh, sorry, then there's another stud here that runs down from the middle of the niche, roughly down the middle, and runs that way. So what I'm gonna do is attach this rail in basically to the stud here and to the timber that runs across this way. So that timber is running um, roughly at about this level here. So I'm gonna, so the timber's basically there and there. So I'm gonna run at that level uh, and just sit in there like that. So the grab rail I'm gonna be using is made by Eve Care um, and it's a 600 millimeter wide. Um, so it's a really good product actually. I've looked at it pretty closely. Um, so they've got this section here, I'll just undo it. Held in by a brass, uh, kind of a, a, a nut. So this will be screwed at this position. So you can basically turn it around any position you want and you can go at any, any angle you want. So I actually like this, it's really good. So I'll be putting the screws in one there and one there, but on the stud here, I'm gonna be putting uh, one there and one there. So I'll be going downwards uh, vertically and this one horizontally. I've recorded the measurements. I'm just gonna transfer them into the wall. So I know coming from this wall here, back this direction, uh, basically it's 480 millimeters. So 480 is basically about here, but we have to take in consideration, the other room is not tiled, this one is. Okay, so that's basically where the stud is, just here. Okay, so now this side. So I know when I built this, uh, this is actually currently uh, a meter and five mil, so it's just slightly over a meter. I know that the timbers uh, come up to about here somewhere, just roughly, because there's villa board in there and there's tile. So I'm just going to assume it's roughly about there. And again, I'm just going to go down 35 mil. I actually think I use 45 mil timbers, but I'm going to go 35 mil. Basically, that's there. I'll just place this back in so I can get a measurement. Okay, so now you need to measure from center to center. Now the instructions will probably tell you what size you need to make this. I'm actually just gonna measure it with my measuring tape. I go from the outside of the wheel to the outside of this wheel, and it is actually 
523 mil. So if you put it to the center of the hole, to the center in here, it'll come out the exact same. Okay, now going from the center of the mark, which is just there, we're gonna go at 523. Basically it's just 523 is just there. Okay, so that's marked. Okay, so once again, I'll take this bracket off. I'll just set it in place roughly here. And as I said, that needs to be in the center, so you can see the mark in the middle. That is pretty good. And we want the holes to be in the center, so we want it to hit the heart of the timber. So I'm basically just gonna mark those holes there like that. So now I'm gonna be using a drill bit. This is a spade drill bit made for tiles, uh, and it'll go through the porcelain quite easily. So you've got to keep it pretty still, and wherever your mark is, you've got to hit that mark exactly, because there's like only one mil tolerance in this rail. Okay, so you can see there how it just drills through. And there we are, we've hit timber. Now there's a bit of an issue here. These screws aren't very long, but that's fine. So it's really important to tell you this, do not over tighten your screws because you will crack your tile. Uh -huh. So do not over tighten. No, not long enough. All right, so I had to grab another screw that's a bit longer. Oops. All right, so now I'll put this on, screw that in, and now I'll just sit that in place. That is actually landed right on my mark, that's good. That's really good. So now I'm just gonna put a level on. So now I'll just mark it. That's pretty good, I'm comfortable with that. So now I'll drill the next one. Now this is even more crucial, it's gotta be spot on. Okay. So the, the drill will slip as you're doing it because it's a spade, it's gonna to wanna to slip around. These tiles are shiny. They're not too bad, but they're still gonna slip. So be careful not to move too much. Okay, so I have just missed the timber. I've just discovered it's just there. So I missed off by a little, and that's how easy you can make a mistake. So now I'll just show you with the drill. If I put it on an angle like this, you can see I've got the timber. Now, so I might put that screw in, but for now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna drill holes that are on the left side. This, this device is so good, because it's got holes all the way around, you can choose your holes, which is really, really good. It's a really good design. I will be filling these holes up with silicon. Uh, remember that these walls are waterproofed, and I don't wanna damage the waterproofing, so I'll fill them back up. There we go. Beautiful. So now I'm gonna take this back off. Oh, okay. I'll just put that in place. Beautiful. Beautiful, okay, that's it. Okay, now that I've put the screws through, I know it all works. I'm gonna to go to the trouble of taking it back out. Okay, so now I've got some neutral cured silicon. I'm just gonna pump that in. Okay, so I've got a fair amount in that. I'm not gonna hold back. So now I'm gonna screw this back in, but this time with silicon in there. Done. Now I'll do the same with the other one. I'll take that back out. Okay, Just pump some more neutral cured silicon in that. Okay. All right, so I'll place that in. Wow, that fit in beautifully. You have literally only about a mil to play with and that's really good. So you just tighten these brass sections up. There we go there. Okay, that's going in. And so then you use this tool, and basically just sit on top and just turn it. Okay, that's on solid. Push the cover plate and that's done. 
Okay, so now I'll just finish this one off. Okay, that was in pretty tight. Actually, there it is there, you can hear it. All right, so that's it. That looks fantastic. Okay, so now we'll do this side. Uh, this is gonna be a lot more complicated. That was fairly easy because I knew what was behind there. Now right here is water pipes running through here coming into the flick mixer. Um, so we're gonna be careful not to go anywhere near that. So we need to push it across this side, but we are judged purely by the stud from this side. So when I went into the roof earlier, uh, I did mark out that it's um, 387 mil minus the tile. So I've got to go across. So 387 is the stud. Ah, oh, where is it there? 387. Now, when I measured that, it was to the furthest point of the stud, which is there. Now, I'm gonna minus 12 mil for, which is there, for the tile. So basically, I believe it's there. Um, we know it's 523 across, so 523 center to center. 523, we're gonna make it beautifully going by the photo that I had of this room, 523, which is just there. Okay, so as I was saying earlier, we need to put this handle lower than the other one. So now, we do have two issues here. I was hoping this wasn't gonna happen, but it has happened to me many times over the years when I was doing bathroom renovations. Now see, there is the, the grout joint. You should never ever dr drill next to the edge of a tile. You should come in at least 20 mil. So I'm gonna try to make this turn to sit into the grout joint. So I'll drill in the grout joint, not on the, the, the actual, um, on the tile itself. Okay, so there's a lot to know about this. And hopefully this video will help you. Okay, I'll just put this out of the way. Beautiful. Angela, can I ask you if you can just check where's a safe, easy, usable level for the flick mixer, for the handle? <laughs> so you said about there? I reckon that's fine. Uh, let me see. And the flick mixer still works. However, when that hangs down, is that going to that's going to hang out? In between, in between. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. Okay, so Angel, if you're happy with that, I can probably get it to about nine twenty, so a little bit higher than I thought. Okay, <laughs> now Angel, this is going to come down. Yes. In here like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, beautiful. All right, leave it with me. All right. Uh, nine twenty. So that's the centre that we said there. Okay. So now we've got the mark, I believe it to be correct. So that's the center here, and the holes are just above. Okay, so now I'll just drill that through. There we go, that's through. Okay, so once again, I'm just gonna put silicon in. Smooth that out of the way, it's just in my way, bothering me a bit. Okay. Screw this one in. Okay, that's in. So once again, using the level. Pretty spot on. Okay, I'm just gonna mark the top of the ring in case that moves. All right, now, this is where I wanna try to match up my holes. That's there. Wow, that's perfect. All right, so now I'll just drill this through. And as you can see, it's right on the grout joint, so it won't break the tile or snap the tile. It's moved a little bit. Okay, so what happened then? That just moved off. I put it on an angle to go back in position and then I straightened it back up, so I'm back on track again. That happens so easily. All right, I am confident this is gonna work, so I'm just gonna go straight ahead and put some silicon. Okay, now we'll put this back on. Okay, so this is pretty easy, just like the last one, just close that off. Okay, that's that one. And come back to this one. That's it, it's done. As easy as that. This is beautiful. So Angela, what do you think?
Oh, what do you think? I think. Have a look at it. Look what he's done. But can I ask, are they solid? <laughs> Absolutely. Like, do you feel comfortable with Absolutely. this? Absolutely. Now, yeah. Angela, going by the instructions, there's a few things you need to know. It says that this bottom rail should not be used for any kind of support. So no. it's important to say that. Yeah. That's just a uh, probably a tower rail or something. Yeah. Um, so the handle is solid. I've went, gone into timber. It also says the instructions do not uh, install unless it's in timber. It's yeah. obvious. Um, so, uh, but you really need to know that. Now, remembering I did put silicon inside the hole. So, 70% of waterproof bathrooms fail with their waterproofing uh, because of silly things. And so, you've got to be careful with waterproofing. You've got to make sure that you you cover it completely. Now, do you remember we had water issues when we first built this bathroom? Mm -hmm. um, I had to redo under your house. I had to put new beams. Uh, there was a lot of wood rot and uh, that was a big issue and then we changed everything around We had the plumber that came changed toilets fittings around. Yep. Um, we had a window here yep. um, Yeah, it was, it was incredible. I get lots of compliments about the bathroom the kitchen and the laundry which you Yeah Had major part in. Yeah, yeah, yeah um, And I'd love for them to see. Once again, Mercy, you've weaved your magic and <laughs> done a marvellous, marvellous job. Now you're welcome, Andrew. very safe. You're welcome Okay, so that's the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something out of it. And if you have any comments at all, please leave them below and I will get back to you. And I'd ask you, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button and share this video and there's many more to come. Thanks guys. Bye. You are giving me, you are giving me bloopers, you know that. Oh, do you have a bloopers for real? Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> it's already done. You just did it. What's it on me? And so today I'm with my friend Angela. Hello everyone, how are you? <laughs> I'm not they can't to say respond. how are you. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> and very hard to drill through. Now this is not... See. <laughs> <laughs> Blooper. Oh. Blooper. Any level would be and, and the thick mixer, don't wet me. Why? I want to. <laughs> I would be so. Oh, you <laughs> little shifty. <laughs> Buddy Angela. Sorry, you're dry, yeah? You were a bit hot anyway. Yeah, I was actually. <laughs> you shifty. <laughs> That's through. So this is actually really easy to do, I've got to be honest. It's. Uh, I'm not sure why Angela called me. She could have done this during our lunch break. <laughs> oh no! Oh, stop it! Oh. All right, we're done. <laughs>